In this video I'll show you how to make this newspaper theme presentation using only PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365 and you can download all the assets that you'll need for this presentation for free from the link in the description box of this video. Before we get into the video, I want to share a platform that I've been using lately to manage all my projects and I'm sure you'll love it too if you're a student or a professional. This platform is called monday.com and you can try it for free at the link in the box below. So let me show you how I use it so I don't miss any deadlines for my projects. On the left hand side you have your workspaces and boards. You can think of a workspace as a big folder that stores all your different projects. If you're in school, for example, each board could be a different subject and if you're a professional, each board could be a different client. Once you have a board, you can start listing different tasks. This gives you an overview of everything you need to do for each project. If you click on status, you can also change the label to either done, working on it, stuck or not started. If you like, you can have a custom label as well, so it's easy to see which tasks have priority. The best part is that you can collaborate with different people and assign roles for each task. If you click on this icon, you can invite other members. I have this task where I need help editing one of my videos, so I'll just tag my editors so they can jump in and review what they need to work on. If you open the task page, you'll also get a more comprehensive view of each task. You can even click on files and add documents, images, videos, and more. The coolest part is that now they have an AI sidekick. What I usually do is jump in each morning and ask it which tasks are approaching its deadline. And in a couple of seconds, I get my answer. You can ask it anything you like related to your workspaces, tasks, etc. and it will always have your answer. Thank you Monday.com for sponsoring this video and if you want to try it out for yourself, check out the link in the box of this video. So the first thing I will do is change the slide's background color to black and then we'll insert the newspaper texture that I got from Adobe Stock Images but I'm giving it away for free from the link in the description box of this video as part of the assets for this presentation. And then we're gonna insert a text box right here in the middle and this will be the title of your newspaper. I'm using this font called Pinion Script that I got from Google Fonts. And in my case, I'm just gonna write PowerPoint Daily because that will be the name of my newspaper. I'll make it slightly larger and also bold it like this. And then we're gonna go to Shape, select the line and holding Shift on your keyboard so you get a perfectly straight line. You're gonna drag your mouse from left to right and holding Alt on your keyboard, you're gonna duplicate the line to the bottom like this so you get two of them. And then I'll simply change their color to black like this. Next, we're gonna insert a text box between these two lines. And this is the space where we're gonna write the title of our presentation. I'm using the font Impact because it's a very bold font and it will work great for headlines. This presentation is about the moon landing, so in my case, I'm just gonna write man walks on the moon. And then above the first line, you can write maybe your name and the date. And on the left hand side of the slide is where you're gonna write your content. For the right hand side, we're gonna leave it blank for now because this is where we'll add our second slide. All right, so let's go ahead and insert a new blank slide. And my whole presentation is in black and white, so I'll just change the background color to black as well. And next, I'm gonna insert a background image, which in my case is the moon's surface. So I'll make the image very large like this, and it doesn't matter that it goes over the limits of the slide. I'll just quickly align it to the top like this. And then I'll just insert a subject without the background. So in my case is an astronaut. And I'll also insert a PNG of some dust and particles, which will give the presentation a lot more depth. And remember that all these images are in the assets folder from the link in the description. Here I just added a quote. And for this one, I use the font Times New Roman. And then we'll go back to the first slide, then go to insert click on zoom and then select slide zoom. Now here you're going to select the second slide and then click on insert. And now I'm just going to align it slightly and make it larger so it covers the right hand side like this. 
So now in slideshow mode, if you go to the next slide, you'll get this zoom in transition, which takes you to the second slide. And it's super immersive like this. It looks really, really cool. This will get slightly more complicated. So stay with me. Holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select the newspaper texture, the top line, the title of your newspaper and the headline. And you're going to paste it to the second slide like this with control V. So it's easier to work with all of these. We're going to group everything together like this. Then you can replace the title to something that makes sense as we're going to showcase some different bullet points. In my case, it will be a timeline of events. All right, let's duplicate this slide with Ctrl D on your keyboard. And for this slide, we're going to put away this group to the right hand side like this just for now. And we'll make some changes to this slide. So first, we're going to move the astronaut to the left hand side to the gray area and the dust to the right hand side as well. Select the quote and move it to the top outside of the slide like this. And we'll simply drag the background image slightly up like this. Finally, let's bring back our timeline of events group. And then let's go back to the previous slide. We'll select the same group and rotate it slightly like this and move it to the right hand side outside of the slide like this. Let's select the third slide, then go to transitions and apply morph. And now you'll have this very cool effect where it looks like the newspaper is pushing away every single element in the slide like this. Now for the next part of the tutorial, we're going to insert the image of the ripped paper that's included in the assets from the folder in the link in the description. Let's right click on it, go to format picture. And here we're going to insert a shadow. So it stands out against the background. You can customize it however you like. However, I'm just going to increase the blur slightly. And then you can add your first bullet point right here. OK, to make our lives less complicated, we're going to select the paper and all the content and then we're going to right click on it, go to group and select group. With the group selected, you're going to press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate this group and then we move it right here at the bottom of the slide. If you select just the image, you can rotate it and now we'll have pretty much two different shapes just to give a little bit more variety to our layouts. So now it's pretty easy because we just need to to replace the content and we'll have our second bullet point, which in my case will be the second uh, event from this timeline of events. We'll repeat the process until we have all of our bullet points laid out like these. And now holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select the first two bullet points of this slide. Now let's go to animations and here you're going to select fly in. And over here, we're going to select start after previous. Let's tweak the animation a little bit more. So click on the animation pane and go to effect options. And here you're going to select smooth end. So now we'll have this animation of our first bullet points sliding in from the bottom to our newspaper. Now let's duplicate this slide with Ctrl D. Now the rest of the presentation is very easy. We're going to get rid of the dust, the background image, the quote and the astronaut because we don't need them anymore. We're just going to keep the group of the newspaper and all of our bullet points. Next, we're going to go to the animation pane, select these two elements right here and delete them. I'll zoom into the slide so you can see better. And now I'm going to move the first bullet point to the left outside of the slide like this and move the rest of the bullet points up like this. And now you just need to keep repeating the process. So duplicate the slide, move the first bullet point outside of the slide and move the rest of them up again. Let's repeat it one last time. Move the first one outside of the slide and then the rest of them up like this. And once you're done holding shift on your keyboard, you're going to select all the slides except for the first two. Go to transitions and apply morph. Lastly, we're going to duplicate the first slide with control D again. Click on the very first slide and here you're going to select absolutely everything and move it outside of the slide like this and again go to the second slide go to transitions and apply morph for the last time and that's it that's how you can make this newspaper inspired presentation using only powerpoint you can download these slides from my website the link is in the description box of this video and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok for more powerpoint tutorials i'll see you next time